Hello and welcome. Right, I have set the worker going, or at least I think I have. Let's grab, yeah, I've, got, I've done a few little bits preparatory work, got the header off and all that type of stuff. Just gonna grab the trailer, stick that on the edge, and I've done the, both the courses for both fields. I need to set the, yeah, the baler going in a minute, but we'll drag this off to the uh, edge of the field. And where is the doesn't really matter where the beginning is. This is this is the biggest field we've got for 22. Although 23 is not much much different. It's just a different shape. I think 22 is definitely bigger though. Yeah, because I thought in editing when I looked at the thing and when I said Can it's the same as canola, I thought uh, it's the same. It is the same, but is it the same? Because is the field the same size? That's the all important thing. You can't. It's not as simple as saying yeah, it's like a the same when the field could be larger then then actually the fact that it reads the full uh, estimate of how much you're going to get off it doesn't really mean the same if it's a different size field and I thought well that is actually quite true it was a little bit misleading of course I'm not really concentrating at the time you know, you're not looking close enough I just literally looked at the numbers but it is true really that, yeah it's not as cut and dry as that, truthfully. Right, are we gonna, you know, yeah, I think we are. We'll grab the Anderson again. Makes far more sense. I've gotta get used to what side I actually put this on. I always have to think about it. I think it was left. Right, so then we need to grab the Anderson, which it is gonna be the left-hand side, thinking about it. Let's move you out of the way. And notice I'm not only using that tractor, no, is it left? It is. Now remember, it's this is, yeah, it's not the turn circle, it's not fantastic on this. It's a little bit. I think that is, yeah, it is right, it is, I see that it is. So then we need to be loading the course. Got self unload ready. So yeah, we'll just make sure. Wow. Yeah, the only thing I've got no control over. I was thinking about this. I think I may well do what I said. If I'm going to drive the Colossus, I'm going to do it at normal speeds of a harvester. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I can't control the workers. That's the one thing I can. I'm going to say, so it is field 22, and it is indeed clear, load, activate, and we need you to go to the first, and we need to shift that, yeah, why did I stick your weights? Yeah, because it's a little bit, with even with the front loader on, it's a little bit on the heavy side, truthfully, and that's a little bit... Yeah, I can't remember where I dropped the weights off. Ah, I can, they're on the trailer. I see them now. Fantastic. Right, so we need to be... Yeah, oh, we shall see now whether the work, whether I'm close enough, because it's about to self-unload. So let's see, is this in a good enough place? Oh, you're not going to try to go for the five-ton box, surely. I think you are, aren't you? I believe it is. Well, it is storage. It would it would read as a little trailer. But, you know, we've not got time to muck around, so with that in mind, we're going to go for the proper 30 tonne, which I don't think is going to, yeah, we're going to begin now to need larger or more trailers, not necessarily larger, but definitely more. Well, yeah, I don't mind larger, actually. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to shift out of the way, or we're going to get clocked. Mm -mm -mm. Are we going to have time? I would say so. We're clever. Right, 
I switched auto off. No, I disable straw swath, sorry, yeah, I'm a terror for that. I'm a, uh, yeah, pressing the wrong buttons and then I disabled the straw swath and I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, I did figure it out. I did used to think it was something else, but it really is me. Right, so then, what near is now? Fantastic. Now then, oh, we need to shift out of the way. Let's grab the Massey. Let's grab that little trailer out of the way so that little five ton storage does not appear as to be a trailer for it. Whoa, and that's what I meant without that weight on. Yeah, well, it's very nose heavy now because obviously it's got that one and a half ton weight on the front. So I'm surprised it actually sensed that because it's, it's nowhere near the headland. Whereas the other one is. I suppose it was closer to it. Yeah, but it's not empty. I don't know that that really matters to the AI, really, whether it's empty or full. If we bring it over here, we should be all right. Hopefully. <laughs> you can only live in hope. Right, I did feel that. So, yeah, let's stick that. Another 70 odd tons. That should really stand us in good stead. move a little bit before it starts to get to full capacity let's just uh, wow this is just astronomical speed I'm glad actually I haven't upgraded it I think I'll leave this as it is because the other 43 miles an hour makes it even quicker obviously <laughs> obviously this is true Yeah, the one we've got in Neverland I fully upgraded, so it's 43 miles an hour. I never really thought about it. I did see see that it was quick. I then noticed a few times how quick it is, but never really sort of thought about it too much. But it is true, I really, I'm not, yeah, I don't really want cheaty sort of things. So I think if I'm going to keep the glass of sky, I can't help but like it, it is nice. I don't want it to be unreal. Uh, which I know it was famous for, but I don't want it to be unreal. I mean, the, the capacity we've got this, the storage capacity is it's big, but it's not massive. The twin screw's much bigger. I mean, there's quite a few John Deere's that are larger, 22 ton hold. So yeah, this is not really anything special in a way, but the speed it goes at, now that is, that should be a fair road yield really. going to get around in time. No, you're not. Oh, I think I, I actually destroyed that little bit. Yeah, I think I was too quick. to be getting the, the crop just yet. nearly caught up I think I'm interested in this because we've not ever seen it get to full capacity and I think it's about to do that
can't see how many bales it's got. I think it's got one more, two more, I think. This is the last couple. Just for the silence, I was just uh, contemplating. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a bit too much. Let's just get a bit of clean up while we wait for that to. Uh, yeah, so we're pretty much caught up, to be honest. With this collecting at the same time, though, that is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, now then, are we. Uh, yeah, I really like the. AI to see what it does. I, I'd imagine it was just going to say it's got a full. Fantastic, that does look very much like that's actually realised. Now then we've got to be careful, you've got to do quite a slow turn for this, otherwise it really does cause quite a as it would do of course, yeah it's it's yeah, that's the only thing with things like this. I've always said that where you've got special implements where you're joining things together, they really do get you not really something for a small field, not as a rule of thumb anyway. Just not enough room really to actually implement it properly. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I meant. Right, let's set this going because I'm really intrigued on seeing what happens when it reaches that. Is it the last bale? Yes, it is. Truth almost. <laughs> that is just now. Then are you going to save? Oh, you've got three more. My bad. see the kind of exact yeah because this these get the turning circles right don't they that's one good fantastic thing about them yeah they they get the turning circles exactly right so it just shows you as a human what you're really aiming for which is quite amazing I do love the fact that they get their turning circles right again yet yeah, another fantastic physics that Giants have got right This may be my last session on this for a while. I'm hoping truly to get back to my normal let's plays, but I, I, yeah, I just wanted to uh, round this off. Yeah, I'm, I'm really. I would like to truthfully have done like the olives and the pistachios and the pistachios and the almonds, really, because I've done olives before. But yeah, I'd really like to show to get through to that. But that means do we? Are we going to harvest both fields and then we've got grass to do soon as well? Yeah, there's there's a lot to do really to get to that, so I'm not sure we're going to sort of try to rush through. Would like to get the um, 
the new crop they were doing, I really would. Right, so that should be almost the last row. Let's get the right side, if we can catch up with it, because this is not, it's not slow. Ooh, you know something? Yeah, I, I think we're just, it's not, it's, it's, I think four tons we can get out of this. Should have emptied that. Maybe actually more. Wow! I thought I would. I thought thirteen. Oh no, it's more, isn't it? It is actually. That's why. Right. Let's get this done. My bad. Obviously, they didn't think about the full, so that would have been 18. So he would have kept about eight tons in, which is why it's so quick to fill this last time. Ooh, hang on one second. Hang on one second. We need to. No, no, actually, there's, there's enough. Yeah, I think we're on the last run for the harvester. Ooh, yeah. Let's not do that. Get to, yeah, plenty of time to get to that before that catches up with us. We'll manually do that last hot little tiny bit of a line. It's got everything uh, there's there's nothing that I don't like about this. The speed that it unloads, the twin screw twin screw is my uh, was my absolute favourite before. The one thing that uh, I, mean, I love the, the twin screw is um. Yeah, unbeatable on the way that it turns in the field. Obviously, this is fast. We know that. Uh, yeah, and it's obviously you can have an unreal capacity to it if you want as well. But I don't want any of that, not if I'm honest. I want this to be true. There's almost, I mean, yeah, the, the unload rate is fantastic. There's nothing about this that is... Oh, yeah, let's just slow down a little. Right, oh no, no, we did it, we did it. Yeah, we're going to have to manually clear the straw up a little. Are we going to do both fields in this session? I think so. Oh, is that it? Right, okay then. I'm intrigued in watching this if I'm honest. Yeah, I am as well. I am. Let's let's empty that. Let's get everybody ready or at least get this on the headlands. Not yeah, the straw. I, I'm expecting I think that's going to probably say that it, the tank is full at some point soon. That's what I'm hoping to see. Yeah, still got a couple of spaces. That's a lot of, there is an awful lot of straw in that when you consider how much each of those bales are. Now be careful, we've got those barrels behind you. Right, let's get this swapped over 23. 30.8, clear, load, activate. First, go. Let's get this on the side, and then I'm really intrigued on watching this because I have never seen this actually be done before. Right, fantastic. 
We will leave that. I'm, yeah, I'm not even sure if this will do a straw, if the additional straw mod will even work with this. I would imagine in real life the hemp would hemp. <laughs> That's not the hemp. The um, lentils. Yeah, I'd imagine the lentil plants themselves would actually be able to be using quite a rough straw, truthfully. Let's not get too close. Just need to level out. Right, yeah, let, let's watch this. Now then we need to catch this from the left hand side. And because this thing is going so fast, if I miss the opportunity to grab it, then uh, yeah, I need to like be as as quick as possible for this. Oh, it does leave straw. Fantastic. sure about the yield I can't really work it out no put your pipe in or it's gonna wallop onto the BGA uh -huh. let's do this bit of cleanup in as you yeah the shed's a little too close. I did always wonder about that. Shed. Yeah, the turnaround on the corners is what is. Oh, now that that actually worked. Fantastic. So the worker is. What is the normal speed for a harvester? That's sixty miles an hour. What is a, one of the powerful ones? 12, 18, so some of them are fast. Oh no, that's, that's not showing you the, that's showing you the top speed, not actually the harvesting speed. Does it show you? No, and it shows top speed. Ah. It's a beautiful crop, even as it is now. It's like a scintillating goldy silver. It's beautiful. Right, can you see the. It should be able to. It's as close as close can be. I do love to watch this. Yeah, I'm going to say it's, it's self unload, is second to none. Even the twin screws, the one thing that was a little bit hit and miss, it wasn't always, no, none of them are always, even this is not always, it depends on how far away it is from the, uh, and also as I say, sometimes you can have a, a little tiny trailer that seems to get, yeah, even the um, samurai can be classed as a trailer, so yeah, oh, beautiful colour. I like the way that Giants have handled straw or the additional straw. Modest handled straw, that it's all straw. It was getting quite complicated in FS19 um, when it was like handled as different straws and then the certain things didn't understand. It's one reason why I'm not. I know you can now get the proper seeds and I know in real life it would be that. It's the same as the, um, the different animal, the forage. I, I, I think. You can go to, I don't know, I suppose realism is realism. You know, 
carrot seeds will always produce carrots you can't have a really a seed that it then becomes lots of other things but we know it's really only a convention it is but I mean that doesn't mean to say that it's not wrong to have it proper where you've got um, barley seeds for barley and wheat seeds for wheat I know we have that capability in the game I've just never I, th I think it would just make things a little faffy because there are other conventions that are not quite... Now, oh, no, I haven't. I thought I'd switch the uh, straw swath, but no. It has to build up, doesn't it? Right, Apologies for going quiet. Yeah, this is it's not I don't think there's that much difference really between the fields thinking about this. Let's have a look. It does tell you, doesn't it? If you do that, three point six, two point five, actually quite a bit. So I was right, figure twenty two is the biggest of the two. Yeah, so this is staying at 15, 16 miles an hour. It still seems a little bit fast to me, to what you would, but I'm not sure. I, I think, I reckon normal harvesters are about 10 miles an hour, 10, 12. Might be wrong. That's quite a bit of cleaning we've got to do on the corners. Can we? I think we can do another partial unload, and then we need to uh, quickly unload the trailer. Seems to be a fairly decent straw swath from this, which I would have thought it would have been when you look at the plants themselves. You're really only taking the uh, the seeds off there, aren't you? Really. Rains, if you want to be precise. Oh, 100%. Ah, okay, so you've, yeah, you know that you can't offload or you, it was too far away. I think probably too far away. Whoa, be careful. fact, can I get a clear route straight to the silo? Makes a bit more sense to me. Yeah, the other thing is now we can have lorry backs. I don't want to go too big though with the uh, the Pepe 978. I think it's fantastic. I do love the colour of the grey. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm well chuffed that it actually manages the 67 tonner, the H2 Studios liquid tanker. That is a real bonus. Yeah, we'll uh, do the straw next session, I think. Just want to get this field finished. I don't want the session to be too long. Where did we get to? Just there. So yeah, let's clean the corners up though as we're going. and we will have a look how well we've done actually with everything yeah I'm not sure what we're going to do with it either I wanted to get the most out of the entire let's play so I want to literally go I mean because this is so heavy on productions I want to do productions to the max I'm trying to concentrate on first and foremost the actual maps 
things but it's yeah we're not sure what productions we've got that we can do things with lentils or whether it is just a grain that you sell but the way that this has been so far yeah it's a uh, not sure what we can do to test this out Yeah, I can't, you can't always tell, can you, what what gets changed to something else, or what's used in a process, or things like that. Vegetable seeds. See, yeah, I don't really know what we need to do for the vegetable seeds. We've seen the mod itself, but really not sure of what else. Yeah, we can actually do. So, yeah, we need these are things that we need to find out. Stick this here. Should be all right. I think we'll probably be emptying this ourselves. I think it'll finish. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Nearly. Wow. Yeah, let's actually get these. No, I did the other end. I didn't. Oh, missed a bit there. Yeah, on Neverland, when we're doing the big field, I'm obviously going to probably go for a couple of these, so that is going to be quite phenomenal, right? So, how. Yeah, I don't really want to interrupt the. No, then are we going the right way? I would say we are. Yeah, I was going to do it myself, but then not being nasty. Whoa. Yeah, if I do this and I take over, the bottom line is. I then muck the lines up. I was saying this a couple of sessions ago. It's true, really. You've got to relieve the worker to do its job. Otherwise, when I come to do the straw, the field's not going to be. At, it's not going to follow the same course, and then we're going to miss straw. And so, yeah, it really is important to let the worker finish the course. Oh, that's a bit nasty. Ah. Transport lines, that's where it was going before when I interrupted it. No, that's not where I expected it to go actually. Have I missed this somehow? Not right. Should be going this way. Yeah, if I do nearest now, it should be right. Yeah, I don't know. Should it missed the transport line. It should have gone back down at the top, but yes, yeah, it's, it's not perfect. And it was probably me. I probably interrupted it or not but didn't put it quite in the right line or yeah it's, it's got to be me really last little bit so finally we've done one of the new crops amazing Ooh, that was yeah because it bounced over the little bit done. Right, 
right, let's get this in. And then I'd just like to, before we scoot, I'd just like to sort of show you how well we've done for both this and the canola. Yeah, it is true. I'm not sure what we're doing. And there's the oil factory. We know what we're going to do for the canola. Because, yeah, we've already got the oil factory, I think. Or is that just the distribution? Let's have a quick look while that's actually uh, doing that. Because, yeah, I am intrigued on this. So we've got the almonds oil that makes turns oil, the almonds into oil we've got the pistachio oil that turns pistachios into oil and not a heavy loss this to me looks more like you'd expect from a, a, the thing the, the giants one always seem to be a little bit too destructive where you like half it and then you your money doesn't seem to be quite right I might be wrong though I, yeah, I'm not an absolute expert or oh, I know that giants don't treat that here we go packaged sunflower oil yeah, but it doesn't create the oil. It literally packages the oil and the pallets to make packaged, which then means that you actually get quite a higher price. If you look on this, no, not that. If we look on this, no, even that, packaged. And see the difference between the oil to the packaged oil. We will see you know, the, how worth it is doing that particular process or whether you sell it. Uh. Is it not showing the oils? It should show oils anyway. The, the basic oils. I've probably gone straight past. Yeah, tomato jelly in that. That is on the map. That is, I'm interested in it. How we go? So we need to look for the oil first. So you've got almond oil there, which is 2,422, and packaged, which is nearly three times the amount. So that is quite amazing. So you've got there's sunflower oil. It's not a normal process, isn't it? So let's pick on sunflower oil. Is 4,000 odd and packaged. Sunflower oil is so four. Four six. This is four six. So there's not really much point in packaging sunflower oil unless five seven seven eight versus two hundred two hundred euros difference. Canola oil five thousand. This is packaged. A corn oil is different. So that I'd like to sort of feature. Canned rapeseed, which is exactly what it said. 5,054 versus... Nah, no, you're looking at canola, not its actual canola. No, you're not. This is true. We want canola oil. So actually, the canned makes no sense because it's actually slightly less. Yeah, 5,077 versus 5,054. So you actually take a loss. It's not perfect. There's some things that are obviously wrong. Now, packaged corn oil, we've never had corn oil. So corn is usually one of those products that is, yeah, we, we, there is no corn oil normally, so even that, when you consider corn is one of those, if we look at corn, this is perhaps one of those things that I really should be thinking about doing because this is going to produce, yeah, we know corns are heavy, is only 905 top, so corn oil, I can't see it now, it is further down because it's a special one. is two and a half times slightly over two and a half times and that is yeah so corn oil i've got to be honest is tremendously fantastic as is almond oil that's pistachio oil hasn't got a packaged it is just what it is and that is a tremendous price so the almond oil the pistachio oil but the corn oil, I've got to be honest, is a bit of a, that's a bit of an enigma that we really ought to uh, incorporate in the Let's Play, definitely. Right, 
anyway that is all done let's have a look now yeah we, we can actually look in the menus oh we can't because that does not include what is in the trailer so let's stick that in so we've got an accurate thing we are oh, we are really going to get some bales out of uh, the this or the field as well yeah we're going to be able to make an awful lot of manure That's fine, it's not going to hit that. Oh, it is a little. Right, let's have a look then. Let's now have a look in the at what we've got in our storage. Uh, no, that's, no, that's different. It's that. We have 45 and a half tons of lentils and 75 and a half tons of wood chips. Now they might come in handy because I think they're involved in the pallet business. 48 tons of canola and 45 tons of barley. Now I'm thinking of converting the barley. We've now got the manure to do that, the barley into barley seeds to sell directly, including the thing. Because so I'm trying to make as much money as possible so we can go as production rich as possible so I'm really trying to make this use my brains to do the best I possibly can to literally produce as much as we possibly can do we do something with is there anything manure we can stick in here as well if we've got an excess I think we're gonna have an excess of um, manure even if we're doing the seeds business because it doesn't need that much to do the seeds business it's only like an after so how much have we got? We have manure 73 tons already. I really don't think we need to, yeah, because the, the cycles for creating the seeds, it's only a tiny little amount. So I think we're gonna be chucking manure in here, which is gonna beef up the uh, electric charge for us. So that means, yeah, if we look at, seeds from barley it's just a hundred it's a tenth so yeah it really isn't going to dint that manure awfully badly but what we could do is continue to make the manure obviously there's going to be a limited amount of digestate though now because until we cut the grass there's no more digestate so again I, I, there's going to be an excess of manure to stick in here which is going to mean that we're going to earn more from the energy business which is fantastic so we, each of our products we're not wasting anything it's all going to be fantastic so we are going to be using this planter soon next year yeah have we is, is there any no i'm not going to no we're, we're going to buy our own fields and we're going to do our own fields and not doing anything like that but that is the end of this session. Yeah, I'm absolutely amazed at where we're going. I know our money's low now, but it, it's, we are building for the future. Yeah, we've, we've got our manure, we've got seeds that we can produce. Also, obviously the canola can go straight into the canola oil. Um, that, although that's not brilliant. I mean, to be honest, we could bring the lorts in, but we, have we got... Yeah, we need to find the one on the map as well. It could be the other thing is you say things like that. I could bring the lots in, but the ones on the map could be a better cycles or better um, recipe. So really, we need to take a look. So again, we're going to have a bit of a wander in the nets coming, and it will be soon because yeah, we are at that stage where we really need to be using our um, produce to actually go into the productions to produce yet more profit. So yeah, it is amazing, but. Yeah, I am going to say thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you stick with me on this amazing journey. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.